Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. This is Jasmine with a three card spread. This is for fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This is a 2020 glimpse for the new year. Just a short 2020 glimpse. I have three cards here for you. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Okay, fire signs. Let's get started. I'm drinking water from one of my Christmas glasses. And this is a candle my daughter brought me today for Christmas. It's from Bath and Body Works Pink Fairy Gumdrop. I love it. It smells so good. Okay, let's get started. I know there's a glare. I'm going to try to move this. Sorry about the glare, but it's nighttime, so my camera, I need the light. Okay, so anyway... With this card here, the Nine of Swords, this is um, the card of prepare to handle adversity. That's what I call it. Okay, so we see a man standing here, and he's got a bandage on his head. And you see how he's looking off. He's probably glancing back and forth, looking around. And he's got that look on his face like he's maybe kind of upset. I can't get that glare off the camera. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. Um, and he's holding on to this wand, kind of like a weapon. And then he's got all these wands behind him. Those wands represent help. Okay. They're, they're standing alone, protecting him. So it looks like whatever you have happened in 2019, because this is in the past position, um, you kind of feel like you're, maybe life beat you up, or maybe someone did beat you up. Maybe your husband or your wife, you know, the words beat you up. Um, a certain situation made you feel like you were beat up or just life itself made you feel beat up. But you're still able to stand and handle um, your your life, yourself, your problems. And then you have all these ones behind you protecting you. These could be family members, your spirit guides, um, other friends and family, you know, but you have protection. OK, and even though life beats you up or someone a relationship made you feel beat up or a work situation made you feel beat up or whoever, you're still able to handle yourself. You're still able to protect yourself from enemies. Um, I see that you're prepared to handle adversity and hostility, whether it comes from um, home life, work situation, school, friends, neighbors, wherever this hostility is coming from, you have the strength and stamina to maintain control over your own interest is what I'm hearing. So you're going to protect your home. You're going to protect your children, your job, um, your relationships, whatever it takes. You're going, you're able to do that. And that's how you felt in 19, in 2019. Okay. Cause this is in the past position. I'm struggling a little bit to read this card because I'm feeling its energy and I'm feeling what you're feeling. I'm feeling beat up. Okay, so my voice is beginning to get shaky. I'm having a little bit of trouble breathing. And whenever I get this card, this is how I start feeling because I pick up its energy. Let me get a drink. I'm almost not able to speak with this card. Okay, so let me get through it quick so I can get out of this energy. Um, yeah, so you're on your way to greater success. You're... You've earned your standing in society. I hear that you've earned your standing in society. You maintain to fight for your right and livelihood. Um, you you continue to hold on for to what you believe in. I am seeing another Aries Leo Sagittarius coming in to help you or was helping you. Or maybe you were fighting against another Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is a general reading so it can resonate to many, many people. Or maybe not to you at all. Um, so you've... you've you have perseverance and you have strength of character and you have the ability to defend yourself against others and for others, including yourself. Okay, Whew, let's get out of this energy. So here we have the card of authority. So there's a message coming in here with the birds and you see here this king, he's kind of high up. And he's got this sword pointed up and he's wearing a crown. So this is the, the card of authority. So I'm seeing that some of you are facing either a judge, uh, some type of counselor or a boss. Whoever you had to fight against here led you to this position here. 
So coming into the new year, I'm seeing that you, um, maybe you had to win some kind of court case or went to a court case. It could have been divorce, could have been child support. Um, it could have been, um, maybe you're fighting a neighbor about something, a job about something. Maybe you were fighting for your rights at work. Um, some type of paperwork. Maybe someone stole your idea. You were fighting for that. You could be fighting for many, many things, but you're going to be standing before a judge or a boss or a counselor or someone that's going to make the decision. Okay. This also could mean that you're seeking legal counsel. You're going to find legal counsel. Um, yeah, and he's going to have the ability to give you the legal counsel that you need with good logical advice. So you might be coming into the new year with that, fighting uh, for something that's important to you. Um, this represents some kind of judge in government or law. I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of police here. Uh, if you're involved in some type of issue with the police, I'm seeing that you're going to have to go before the judge. And um, yeah. These, this energy is, is draining me. I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time speaking. Um, okay, but the judge is honorable and just. So um, I'm hearing that the dealings that you're going to deal with are going to be fair. Okay, so you're going to get what you need. You're going to get the money that's due to you. You're going to get the, the rights to a, a, some kind of paper I'm hearing that's due to you or that's yours that someone stole um, if you're looking for seeking a divorce, you're going to get that divorce and whatever comes along with it. Um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius with this. Um, you could be divorcing a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or suing someone of that nature, or they're suing you, or having trouble with someone. That Or, or this is another scenario, the judge could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius that's going to help you, okay? Um, but this, this judge, he's flexible. Um, he's direct and, and he gets the job done. Now, with the, with the swords, ne another sword next to it, this issue is coming quickly. Okay, it's coming in quick. The knight of swords is a knight that comes in quickly. You see how the horse is running through the air. She's practically flying. You see how the branches are bent that way because the wind is just blowing. He has his hand up. Birds are flying. So messages are coming in. Um, yeah, and he's wearing red, so he's coming in with passion. And he's leaning forward. You see how he's leaning forward? Because he's riding quickly. So whatever information you need, whatever it is that you're seeking with this um, judge here, the judgment that you're waiting on is going to come in quick at the first of the year. Um, so be prepared for that. So this is the card of a quick cut to the core is what I call it. So this person comes in quick. Um, I am seeing someone coming into your life that's going to tell you the truth about something or you're going to find out a truth about something. If you've been waiting for a truth to come out, then it's going to come out in the first of the year. Even if it hurts, you're going to find out the truth. Maybe who was cheating on who. Um, if you were with a, uh, someone that was cheating, you're going to find that out. Um, this, this night comes in to inform you of something important. It's, there's urgency behind it. I'm hearing urgency, things moving quick. So things in your life are going to start moving quick now. This horse is a mover and a shaker, doesn't dilly-dally is what I'm hearing. Um, but he's also kind and good, with good intentions, sharp and witty is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing all these words. Sometimes this person is a little pushy. This person that's coming into your life is a little pushy, but this person always defends the underdog. So whoever and gets to the truth of the matter. So whoever uh, it could be your counselor or the person that's coming in to help you um, could be the lawyer or whoever you're involved with that's helping you. This is this person here because this is in the future position. So whatever it is that you're fighting for, you're going to win the case because this person that's coming in is going to defend you, going to help you. Everything that you worked for over here that people were trying to take away from you, you're not going to lose it. You're going to win. Okay. In the end, you're going to win. That's what I'm hearing. Um, so the, so be prepared. I'm hearing be prepared, be ready to maybe you're going into court for the fight of your life. Maybe you're about to lose your house and and you're fighting for your house, your car, some type of money or inheritance, divorce, judge, I'm hearing law, police, 
um, you're being sued, you're suing somebody. I keep hearing that. So all that is happening in the first of the year. Once you get to this point here, fire signs, you're going to be okay because you're going to have the resources now because you might win a big settlement and you're going to have the resources now for your life to start over, start for the better, and you're going to start over is what I'm hearing. So actually 2020 is going to be pretty good for you financially, but you've got to go through this first. And this only resonates to some people. If you're not involved in any of that, um, your life is going to be okay in 2020 is what I'm hearing. You're going to have resources. If you lost your job, you're going to get your job offered back or you're going to find another job. But I'm seeing that the, your job is going to be offered back because the attorney over here or whoever's coming in to help you here is going to get it back for you. Is that whatever it is that you're, someone's trying to take away from you, you're going to get it back. Okay, it's coming. You're going to be focused. This person's going to be focused, and they're going to help you. And, and I keep hearing truth. I keep hearing truth. The truth is going to come out. Whatever truth you're seeking, whether it be a relationship or someone's lying about you or something like that, the truth is coming out. So I'm hearing a lot of truth for 2020. But once you get past this hump here, you're going to be perfectly okay. You're going to be fine. So don't let this event scare you or make you worry because you're going to come out okay. You're going to come out on top and you're going to come out the winner. Okay, fire signs? Keep moving forward. Keep praying. Keep speaking things into existence so your year can be wonderful. Close this door out once it's over. Close this energy out. Let it pass. So the new things can come in because I do see a lot of good things coming for fire signs, especially money. I see money coming and new love. So let those come in. Close this energy out as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you for watching. This is a quick 2020 glimpse for fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. If you want a personal reading, contact me with the directions down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as I'm trying to get monetized. Please help me get there. These readings that I'm doing are free. I don't get paid for them, but I would most like, most, I really want to get monetized is what I'm trying to say. All right. Y'all have a Merry Christmas. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.